Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are six friends. They bought six types of crypto coins, and uh, each friend bought at least one of these coins, and no friend had any coins before that day. And on the very next day, all of them sold all the coins they had bought on day one. Now these are bought or sold on the respective market values. So on day one, the market values of these coins are. these in the order g to l okay on day 2 these market values change to these values respectively it is also known that no friend paid any additional charge brokerage etc in buying or selling coins so this is your buy price this is your sell price there is no extra charge involved in buying or selling okay each friend bought a different number of coins and no one of them bought more than 6 coins now it is said that all of them bought at least one of these coins okay and they bought a different number and maximum six coins so this makes uh, these things indirectly say that that the number of coins bought by these people are 1 2 3 4 5 6 of these six different types no two friends bought coins of the same crypto coin so that means one of them will buy g one of them will buy h i j k l and the quantities are 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now let us make now in this question we cannot find right so we have all the questions like if 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 so we have some condition given and based on that condition we will fit in that which coin uh, is purchased by which person so we have six types of coins this prices are on day one are One thirty, hundred, three fifty, two twenty, forty, and one seventy. Okay, so this is the price on day one, and on day two, the price are one twenty, one thirty, three hundred, one ninety, fifty, and two twenty. Now this is the price at which they buy the coins this is the price at which they sell the coins so we will get the profit or loss so that is sell minus buy so when you subtract the buy price from selling price so 120 minus 30 is minus 10 so minus means loss and plus means profit so we will get 30 this is minus 50 minus 30 10 and 50 so we see that they make different profit or loss among 10 30 and 50 now they purchase different number of coins like 1 2 3 4 5 6 we do not know the number of coins that they purchased okay now suppose uh, a person purchased g coins of uh, like the number is g for these coins okay on h i j k l and so on now if we have to find the net profit or loss that will be equal to the profit or loss multiplied by the number of coins now if we see this 50 is common in this so if you have to find let us say these are l l coins and these are i coins so can we say the profit on these will be 50 times of l minus i similarly if these are 30 coins h and j so we can say the net profit or loss will be 30 times of h minus j and this is k and g 10 times of k minus g so if you have to find the net profit or loss you get these values now we need to answer the questions based on it if the six friends together suffered a loss of 350 then how many coins of coin j were bought by any of the friends now the total loss is 350 right now one thing that we need to understand is the maximum difference that can one that one can get is 5 so we cannot have any of these values greater than 5 okay that is the maximum value now 350 is a high number so if you have to maximize the loss it should this difference should be high so 
लाइक इफ लॉस इज हाई दैट मीन्स नेगेटिव वैल्यू शुड बी मोर ओके सो आई शुड बी एल माइनस आई शुड बी लार्ज नंबर बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अ लार्ज फैक्टर लाइक सपोज लेट एस से इफ आई टेक दिस वैल्यू एज माइनस थ्री If I just take l minus three is minus three, I will get minus fifty. We have to make minus three fifty total. So if we take minus three minus one fifty, now we cannot make minus two hundred using these two. So even if I take six five, which is the highest possible, we will be able to get minus one fifty. Okay, minus three hundred. We cannot take five five ka difference three times. Okay, five ka difference will come only once. So we need to try to. Now this looks like a large number. so what we will do is we will put the maximum possible difference let us say minus 5 so this will be minus 250 now we need to make minus 100 okay total is minus 350 so if we multiply by minus 3 we get minus 90 and if we multiply by minus 1 we get minus 10 so this works now let us see the <coughs> values for which the difference is 5 so 1 and 6 So if you put l equal to one and i equal to six, we will get minus six here. One minus six minus five minus five into fifty minus two fifty. Now we need to get the gap of minus three. So a gap of three that means two and five can be taken. The gap is three. So this will be two minus five, and we are left with two values. So we'll take three and four. So it fits. Like if you put fifty times of one minus six, that is minus two fifty. 30 times of 2 minus 5 minus 90, 10 times of 3 minus 4 minus 10, total 350 loss. Now uh, in this scenario, coins of coin J are 5. Next question is, which of the following outcomes is not possible for the six friends? You have to tell which is this not possible. Now see, if we just reverse the values, instead of 1 and 6, if we take 6 and 1. Instead of five and two, we will take five and two like this, and four and three like this. The values will just be opposite, so we can have three fifty ka profit. So we will ignore this option. Now we need to get a. Uh, we need to check that which of these is not possible. Loss of seventy. Now we have fifty, thirty, and ten. Right? We need to prove that can we get minus seventy? Can we get ninety using this? Okay. Minus seventy. Uh, if we put two times, that is hundred. And uh, if we put four, and uh, this is minus uh, four. Two ka difference is hundred. And minus one twenty. Okay, so this is not going to give us. And this is minus five. Is it possible? Try for yourself. Like my one and six minus five difference, we can get, but it is not giving us a result. Now, if we do not take hundred, if we take fifty only, okay. So if we take fifty, can we make minus one twenty, minus ninety, and minus thirty? Okay. So let us check the values. Can we put the difference of one, three, and three? So if we put the difference of three, let us say we take two and five. Okay, if we take a difference of three, let us say we put one and four, so we are left with three and six. We cannot take this possibility. Okay, let us think of another possibility that if we make minus fifty, then we make minus minus fifty minus sixty. Okay, so that is uh, minus hundred and ten and. Forty here to make it minus seventy. So we will have to do a bit of uh, <clears throat> estimations to get the values. So ten we have to multiply four. So that is we can take six and two. Now we need to get a difference of two. Uh, we can take three uh, and five, and then we can take like if we take one and three, and if we take four five. So that is possible. So if you put four minus five into fifty, okay. Similarly, if we take one minus three into thirty, okay, and we take six minus two into ten, so we will be able to get minus seventy. Like uh, instead of L, if you put four, so in this order, if you put, we will be able to get minus seventy. So this is possible. Ninety as a profit. If we take fifty, if we take fifty, thirty, eighty. 
plus 10 90 that makes a profit of 90 now how to make a difference of one we can take like 2 minus 1 4 minus 3 6 minus 5 so this is also possible so this means this should not be possible so we have eliminated done by elimination so such type of question it definitely requires hit and trial so that should be avoided in the examination scenario because there could be different ways of making these numbers okay next question if each of abc earned a profit and they together earned a profit of 170 then at most how much loss was suffered by d e and f together so abc must of be of these categories 50 30 10 and the number of points we will have to figure out and we need to maximize the loss of other three people okay so if we see uh, 100 100 and uh, we cannot make it three times we can make it one times 130 and 40 170 is possible this way okay let us think of other ways how can we make 170 so this is again a bit of hit and trial so we can make 214 can we make 1 and 120 using these two uh, if we make three times so this is 140 three times that is not possible if we make it four times then it is zero again not possible so we can take this only uh, like if we take it two times then we will have to take six here right so that is another possibility like 50 60 110 60 170 now the thing is we have to find the maximum loss by def right at most means maximum loss now how do we maximize the loss if you have to maximize the loss we will assign the difference highest difference highest number here okay and then the second highest then the lowest now if we are using one two six we have maximum five available with us right we can have five we can have four we can have three and if we are taking two one four we can have six we can have five we can have three with us okay so obviously this will give us a higher loss because we have the number six with us so we will have multiply by six we'll multiply this by five and we'll multiply this by three so the maximum loss they can have is 300 450 480 so the answer will be 480 okay so this is the maximum loss that these three can have all together so minus 300 minus 150 minus 30 total 480 loss now the next question is if e earned a profit of 150 and c suffered a loss of 90 which of the following can be true now e has made a profit of 150 so that is possible either e is one of these like 50 into 3 that is that looks like a possibility now c suffered a loss of 90 so loss of 90 can happen with minus 30 into 3 but we cannot have 3 3 coins of two types so this means now minus 90 is definitely minus 30 into 3 because minus 10 into 9 is not possible the number of points are till 6 so minus 90 is definitely this 150 can be 50 into 3 or it can also be 30 into 5 so this means 15 into 3 if you put we will have same number of points so this should be 30 into 5 okay so 3 is done 5 is done now we have to assign uh, 1 2 3 4 so we have to see the options f suffered a loss of 180 now we need not worry about that who is who we just need to see that can we make a loss of 180 so 180 means 30 into 6 minus 30 into 6 minus 30 is already taken so this is not possible b earned a profit of 250 250 means 50 into 5 now 5 is already taken we cannot multiply 50 by 5 again so this is not possible a suffered a loss of 200 200 means 50 into 4 50 is available with us 4 we can have so it is saying which of the following can be true so this can be true d earned a profit of 30 now 30 can be 10 into 3 or 30 into 1 okay so 30 is already taken and 
10 into 3 is not possible because 3 is already taken. So neither of them is possible. So D cannot earn a profit of 30. So only possibility we can have out of these options is A suffered a loss of rupees 200. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.